circles. We have come together to organize a gathering to pay respect to Dr. Gary Jenkins, to reflect and to also show solidarity in such sad times to his family, friends and colleagues. Unfortunately, neither of us knew Dr. Gary Jenkins, but we stand here today with you as residents of Cardiff and also members of the LGBTQ plus community to send our love and thoughts to all those who knew him. Not having known Dr. Gary Jenkins, it might seem odd as to why we wanted to bring people together today. But ultimately, what we do know about him is that he was a colleague, a family member, a resident of Cardiff, a key worker, a part of our communities here, and a human being that deserved respect and dignity. We ask that if anyone wants to speak and feels compelled to do so, please make yourself known to Fionn, uh, my colleague who's here somewhere in front. But we do feel that it's right to prioritise those who knew Dr. Guy Jenkins. Given the reasons why we're here, we kindly ask the individuals to refrain from taking photos of the speakers as they might, uh, people who come up might not want to, to be photographed. And also for the media to be mindful of both the purpose of today's gathering and to be mindful that many among us will not want to be seen on camera. If you'd like to lay flowers, we suggest the area on the steps uh, in the front here. And we also have some candles for those who would like to light a candle. And in four minutes, we'll do a minute silence. Dear Mariam, thank you uh, very much. Um, I'm now going to uh, invite um, Ash Lister, Cynhorydd Ash Lister, i Evangelii Bechtig Eiria, pan uh, Ilo Seneddol, uh, despite uh, the councillor Ash Lister, um, to say a few, wo few words on behalf of um, the, the local MP, uh, Stephen Dante. I'm sorry that I cannot be with you today due to illness, but I wanted to send a message of solidarity and support to you all, not least because I am one of you. We are currently living in dark times and we cannot assume that any of the progress we have made for, uh, or fought for is secure, but together we can provide hope. I want to first express my deepest sympathies to the family, friends and loved ones of Dr. Gary Jenkins. I have been truly sickened and appalled by the reports of his tragic murder, like all of us. I will not mention those who have been found responsible for this wicked act. Let us not name them or give them any more infamy. Let us rather say, rest in power, Gary, and know that your kind and dedicated example of public service will inspire and bring hope to others for decades to come, not just in this community, but beyond. The figures on hate crime are stark, and we all know from conversations with our friends, neighbours, that this kind of senseless hatred and violence is on the rise, including in Cardiff. If there was ever a need for political pride and activism, it is now. When queer people are being killed for who we are, 
when others face violence, physical and verbal abuse and discrimination, despite the legal protection we all fought so hard to secure, when so many face additional mental distress heaped on top of that internalised shame and anguish so many of us already, already experienced our own journeys, when our trans and non-binary community in particular face hatred and ridicule daily at the hands of some of those with power in our national media, national institution and in politics, instead of the protection, solidarity and support that they need. And when LGBT plus people across the world and Ghana to the Middle East... My name's Sarah and um, I'm the Vicar of St John's. This is my parish and I stand here today as a member of the queer community of Cardiff. I love this city and um, I stand here today also as a representative of organised Christianity and so I want to say sorry. I'm really sorry for the part that some Christians have played in giving licence to our marginalisation, which leads to some of the prejudice that we see and tragically in this event uh, with Dr Gary. You know you're fabulous, you know you're important, and you know you have as much right in this city as any straight person. God bless you. I've ever had, and I've been in mental health care all my adult life, which is 30 odd years. He was. So it's a few minutes for me to say, so I'd like to share with you a couple of examples of my memories of Gary. I remember he always used to say sorry. He was so sorry for things that weren't his fault. I remember I was having trouble within my team, and he stood with me and against some of his colleagues, which he really shouldn't have done. In fact, he hung up on one of them in front of me. Gary cared. Gary also... Sorry. Um, during COVID, um, like many places, we weren't allowed inside the clinic, the service. I just wanted to say a few words, really, as a, as a, as a colleague. I could just... We've just heard about him as a, as a psychiatrist and um, I think all of us who colleagues that are in the, in the, in the crowd will, will recognise the man that's just been described uh, to you. Uh, he was above all uh, very caring, very fre flexible uh, as, a, as, a, as a colleague and a capable, a very capable psychiatrist, a very bright and articulate uh, man. And, um, I'm reminded um, of a conversation that I had uh, with him when I'd, I asked him to, to stop being an agency locum and to be uh, an NHS. I didn't go at all. I would have been uh, touched uh, by the stories in the media, horrified. But the one thing I want to remember is what the other way she spoke about, so they spoke about him, and who those qualities are, the things that made him outstanding like doctor, and I think that person I've had many as well. He made me laugh, yep, he said like his appointments with the child, we laughed, we worked together, he was the example of everything that South Park should be, and one of the things that I didn't know Gary, um, but I certainly felt the fear last last summer when I heard when we all heard in the news that something had happened in the park. I think those of us who were part of the LGBT community sensed and worried about what the result was going to be. And the court case has been harrowing because it's proven our worst fears. But the court case has actually shone a light on something. And it wasn't in the verdict. It was actually in a statement that came afterwards. A statement that was never given to the jury. A statement from one of the perpetrator's girlfriends. And that statement was that Gary wasn't the only victim. Gary wasn't the only person who's been attacked. We 
don't know how many. We don't know how many individuals in this city have faced similar abuse. Gary wasn't the only victim. And so, if we leave here tonight, I think we all need to be thinking about luck. Yes, we all want to be happy. We all want to live together in a happy, nice community. But for far too many of us, that's just not the reality of, of our life. We're attacked by the same person that got to Gary. And this will happen, this will continue to happen, while we allow people to dehumanise us, to talk about us as if we're other, to talk about us as if we are less. But we know it doesn't have to be that way. We know we can be different. Every single generation that has gone before us has had similar fights. And we might have thought at one point, do you know what, we've got equal marriage. Do you know what, we've got the equal rights of the law. Maybe that's it, maybe now, maybe finally we can get to somewhere where we can be equal in the streets and in work and our homes. That's not the case, is it? So what I would say is all thoughts with Gary's family, friends, and everyone that they were with. But for each of us that didn't, I think we have a responsibility. A responsibility that would be placed on us by those who've gone before, those who've fought before, those who've stood up before. And those of us who have strength to stand, we should go ahead in that same creed that took every other generation before us. And for me, for me, that's out of the closet and into the streets. Thank you. Okay, well we would like to thank everybody for coming tonight, to all those who spoke and for all the communities coming together. As we mentioned earlier, all our thoughts are with Gary's family, friends, colleagues, patients and also those that helped him back. We've also been passed a message on from the family to say thank you for everybody coming out tonight and showing solidarity. Together we will remember Dr. Gary Jenkins and together we will stand in the face of hate and violence. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah.